everybody. We're together again for Neighborhood Community Shout Out. Yay. <laughs> Except you can't talk apparently. Shout out. Yay. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's get started. We have a correction. I said it wrong last week. This is how you say it. Aliyah? Farug? Far O Q? Is that how it goes? It'll be Aliyah Farouk? Aliyah Farouk. No. Pronounce it exactly how I wrote it. Far O Q. Far O Q? I don't think so. I think it's Farouk. I'm saying it how she typed it out. Far O Q. Farouk. Aliyah Farouk. Well, welcome and correction. And if it's he said it wrong, I said it right. It, let me know. Okay. Koala Lover 1232. Welcome to the neighborhood. Rachel Riley. Welcome to the neighborhood. Asian John. Welcome to the neighborhood. And go by and check out his channel. Camilla Rosa, welcome to the neighborhood. Kaylee Hyatt, welcome to the neighborhood. Crystal Adonolfe, welcome to the neighborhood. Adonolfe? Where did you see the A at the end? It's Adonolfe. It, that's my niece. I know how to say her last name. It's Adonolfe. And it's spelled wrong. Are you going to fight with me over how to say my own niece's name? <sighs> Caitlin May, welcome to the neighborhood. Lily Tori, welcome to the neighborhood and go check out her channel. Haley Hyatt, welcome to the neighborhood. Is it Haley and a Kaylee? Yes. Okay. Rosemary Baker, welcome to the neighborhood. I know, you're just checking. Yes, there is. I double-checked it, too. Multi Hot Dog Man 1, welcome to the neighborhood. All's Mill 3Z, welcome to the neighborhood. Sierra O, welcome to the neighborhood. King Kendall, welcome to the neighborhood. Thea Schreiber. Schreiber, welcome to the neighborhood. That's all the new people we have to welcome. Jeez. Now, thoughts and prayers for Greg Meyer's friend, Noel's grandfather, passed away during heart surgery. So if we can all keep Noelle and her family in our thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. Haley from One Proud Mama 77 gets her cast off soon. Hopefully she will not have to have surgery. So let's keep our thoughts and prayers for her. Um, Sylvia Phillips channel, you guys all know. Hello, Bethany. Um, Tanya Longley, happy birthday to your mother on the 10th, which is tomorrow, so today. Happy birthday. And happy birthday to my mother, Rita Stalter, which was on the 8th. Happy birthday, Mom. She's 39, apparently. <laughs> she thought she was 32, but then she thought again. <laughs> Groovy, man. Last week's question was, do you like reality TV programs? If so, which ones? Gaga's Little Monster, she likes reality TV. It's her guilty pleasure, and she likes Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> We've actually been compared to Honey Boo Boo a couple of times. Mm. Yeah, somebody even said we were Honey Boo Boo gone wrong. Yeah. That's on that one video that we've got over 30,000 views on. Yeah, one video we have over 33,000 views on it. 
Okay. It's called Neighbors Gone Crazy. Crazy. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, go, go take a look at it. It's pretty interesting. It's, we don't know why don't people know why. don't like it, but... Well, they watch it. One Proud Mama loves reality TV. Two of her all-time favorites is The First Big Brother and Team Mom. They kill me with Big Brother because it used to be on Closer Together like twice a year. Now it's only once a year. She likes the competitiveness of it. I can't stand drama in real life, but on reality shows, it's great. Teen Mom, I like for the drama, plus it can show younger girls what they go through and hopefully prevent them from making mistake, the same mistakes and getting pregnant so young, which is a wonderful message, and I fully support that. Dougie Style. I don't know if this qualifies as reality TV. I think it does. There's no competition aspect to it, but I enjoy watching Mike Holmes' show on DIY Network where he and his crew fix home renovations that were done wrong by other contractors. In each show, he explains why certain work is shoddy and what he's doing to correct it. Lots of useful information for homeowners such as myself. Yeah. I agree. I watch his shows as well. He has, a, has had a couple on. And the last one we're going to read is Margaret Clevenger. My reality TV show would have to be Wife Swap. I love to see whose place they are going to and see if they can change anything. Yeah, I watched a few a while back when it first came out, and they made some drastic changes in the houses. And I really, really wonder if those changes do stick or not. Curious. So... What about you, babe? Any reality TV programs that you like? Well, I watch uh, Ghost Hunters and Ghost Adventures, and there's a couple other ones that I kind of watch, but those are the two major ones. Those are reality. That's about it. What is my mind that I have to watch every season, and this is the last season it's on? Uh, it's that, that singing thing, what's it called? American Idol. Yep, this is the last season for it. But I will say, the last two seasons and this season have been the best because it has the best three judges. I agree. Real musicians. Yeah. Okay, so my question this week for you guys is, what is your favorite game show, TV game show, past or present, and why? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Rolls. And guess what? I am back, so I get to poke and poke and poke and pinch. Beep, 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 and poke. <laughs> and kiss. And I smudged my glasses yes. while I did it. And mine. Okay, it's about time. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Last week's was a question about uh, Wes Craven since he died last week. Very sad. Um, he, um, he's done a lot of movies, but the thing he's most well known for, of course, is uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. And the question was, what's Hypnosil? And what does that have to do with um, Wes Craven? And it has to do with the movie that he did with his friend who did um, uh, Friday the 13th. I think it's McCulley or McCulloch or something like that. Um, Freddy versus Jason. And uh, they were in a clinic and they were taking a medication that kept them from dreaming. So uh, Freddy couldn't get to them. And no, it's not a real drug. They made it up for the movie. And those who got it right were Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Gaga's Little Monsters, and the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! And this week has to do with a early... Peter Jackson movie. Um, it's uh, the movie is called uh, Dead Alive. At least it was in the states. If 
but when uh, he made it, it was called Brain Dead, and it was an early zombie type film. Now the question is, at the very beginning of the movie, they uh, some people steal a rat monkey from a certain location, and that location is actually quite famous, and Peter Jackson actually returns to that location in another movie. What is that location? And what's that other movie? Ooh, a two-part question. Woohoo! There you have it. There's your trivia question of the day, of the week. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. <laughs> we love you all so very, very much. Thumbs up. Don't forget to go by and check out all our other stuff. Wow. <laughs> and we will see you.